Oh, I'm Lee Sus. Welcome back to Sunny Clapton Maze. What a beautiful view over the, the lovely part of the city, the Hive. Um, let's come out of cinematic view. We watch these buildings uh, zooming up all over the place. Right then. So what have I done since I was uh, last with you? I can't remember actually. Filled this in a bit more probably, and done some tweaking and bits and pieces. I had to put a. It was getting incredibly busy around here. We're not going to rename this, by the way. This Crescent, Crescent Heights. Getting very. It's still pretty busy around here, but it's getting worse. I mean, I. If I put this last time, I'll put this extra junction in here, and I built a whole new junction over this way. And we're going to make some use of this, but it was getting very busy around here. Oh, well, there we go. So, um, while you were away, while you were sleeping, I. We had a couple of things happen. First of all, 60, 64,000 people now in the city, so we've now become. Whatever we're called now. What are we called now? Is it going to tell us? I can't be called now. A, a big metropolis, maybe, or something like that. I, d I don't remember. Something of that ilk. And but because of that, we can uh, we can now build the airport, which is wonderful. And that's one task we're going to do this episode. I'm trying to plan more. You know, I'm trying to be a bit better at my episodes and you know, think a bit more about what I want to do. So yeah, the airport is one thing. Secondly, we have a monument to build. We have. Uh, the Plaza of the Dead, because we have three, we now have three full cemeteries, which is great, I guess, I don't know. So that's another one we have to do, do that fairly soon. Um, and we have to decide what to do with this airport as well, because, I mean, in, old, in the old sim games, you could, uh, the very early ones, you could you could have your, your aeroplanes crash into buildings if they were too close. That's probably not a thing anymore, um, but let's not build the, the airport too close to... Uh, too close to it. I don't know how big this thing is. How, how big is an airport? Uh, oh, we're well, pretty big. Okay, fair enough. Um, we could build an airport. Uh, we could get it in here, I guess, but uh, I want to use this for other things, like more business district and more, maybe even some more properties around the, uh, maybe put some properties over here around the Sirens Lagoon. And no one wants a noisy air if the opera singers are singing over here, no one wants the air airplanes taking off in the background. So maybe not. I think we should probably buy a completely new area. And we can buy two new areas now. We can buy two new whole areas, which I think is our maximum now. No, not quite. I think we can buy one more afterwards. One more on the back of that. So we should probably buy this one, really. Because we already have the problems with the traffic axis over here. Uh, we could do with another bridge to reduce the traffic here and maybe, I don't know, expand Fangorn a bit. Do something over here. Actually, this is part of the problem. These big shops along here and also the vehicles are coming along to offload stuff into the um, the cargo depot here. So that's uh, yeah, that's not good. So we probably should build it over here. Maybe the, that means the airport should go over here. Or we could stop the airport over here. Which is also a good option. I mean, airports are airports in in real life are obviously good for industry and good for commercial, and they're good for residential as long as you're not too close to them. So it could be good to have it. It doesn't actually say what sort of airport it is. I mean, it, it must be a passenger airport, so it must be good. What, what does it say in the text? What does it say here? Uh, the airport opens the sky for travelling to faraway lands. Tourism benefits greatly from fame plane traffic. Airport needs a road connection can be freely placed on the map. So it seems that they're making this more of a touristy type access connection. It's another way out of the city. I mean, presumably you could send other things like air shipments and mail and other things like that from that usually come with airports, but I don't know. Um, maybe we should buy both. I mean, if we buy this one here... We could put it up here. Oh, it's been a little bit noisy for a little while. Right, first of all, let's have a look. I want to do something else, though. Well, think about that. We'll come back to that in a minute. First of all, though, I was very impressed with the space agey buildings we found over here last time, because we've got the the uh, policy that um, makes the buildings more futuristic. And I think one of the first ones we saw was this one here. Wow, that's loud. Um, which was the one with, with the tennis courts on top, which is great. But I wonder what other buildings were over here. Have a little look before we do anything else. So, I found a few. There's a new one going up there. So, this is a classic one here. This is uh, two of them here. Very nice and shiny. Doesn't look doesn't look especially space agey, but it's nice. A little fans turning on top. It's a nice shiny building. And we have where's the other one? 
it's another typical one. There's the one with the helipad on top, which is good. Be nice if it was a zeppelin pad or something. I do like airships. Be nice if we had airships floating around, futuristic airships. And we've got this one here. So we've got, yeah, we've got lots of nice new uh, space agey buildings over here that are quite good. It's it, it appears to be partly based on the room, how much room they have, which one goes up. This one here. I'm not sure what this thing's supposed to be. Like a wind trap or something. I don't know. It'd be nice to have, uh, like in a turbine building in London, something with, with some big turbines built into the roof, ostensibly for power generation. But yeah, we're getting some lovely buildings. I don't think I want the whole city like it. I want a bit of variety. I must have different districts with different sorts of buildings. But we've got, yeah, as these things improve, we get some uh, some lovely high-tech buildings over here. Oh, is that a different one? That looks a bit different. What's that? Oh, it's got like little sun lounges on top and a... And a and a satellite. What does it sound like a satellite dish? It says something on there, doesn't it? Can I see it? Oh, I'm going. I'm zooming too fast. Hold on. I'm going to move slowly. It is a satellite. Okay, fair enough. Even these things, little, little things turn, little vent things. That's so good. I do love some aspects of this game. I really love them. What's this? This is di this is a this is different. The popular residence as well. Go away a minute. I'm trying to look at the building. Oh, yeah, it's nice. Look. A little, uh, little area set up on top, if you don't mind the noise. Lovely! Anyway, enough procrastination. What have we got with demands for? Demands for lots of things. Lots of, uh, commercial and stuff. Oh, that's something else I looked at as well. I looked at some of the monuments and what I could do to get them. And one of them was <laughs> for the mall. I wouldn't mind putting a shopping mall up here. Um, but you need a maximum 4% tax rate. So I thought, well, I know what I can do. I can just, uh, I can just, you know, set the 4% tax rate, get the building, and then set them back up again. But the developers aren't that stupid. So I need to set the tax rate at 4% for um, 20 weeks. Um, now, I've got a lot of money, so that will obviously do a lot of damage to my income. But I, can, I, think, I, can, I think I can do it. So I might do that towards the end of the episode. I'll, I'll, we'll do some time out, and we'll just watch... Uh, watch our money vanish as we take the hit on our on our on our bank balance uh, to set a one four percent tax. But we'll think about that later. First of all, though, let's not do the airport yet. Let's do the let's do the Plaza of the Dead. So then we can set these poor cemeteries to being emptied and then filled back up again. So the monument is in here. Where are we? How big is it? And where are we going to put it? This is tourist land down here, isn't it? It's got all the big touristy items over here. Um, we could give... Uh, where, where's, where have we not got one? We could do one up here, I guess. We could... Should we want to put something... Although it's out of the, the, the area, should we put something up here just to give little wallop a little boost? Would that be a good idea? Or we put it in the middle of the city? Because we're gruesome like that. I don't know. We could put it over here. No, we'll put it over here, actually. I think we'll put it over here. And then we'll build up the, the businesses and stuff around here. And it can be a touristy item. How about we put it somewhere where it overlooks the lake? Or... No, I'll put it here. We can put a park on the other side. I'm thinking of the effect. If we put it here, we're wasting some of the effective zone, the benefit we're getting from it. So let's put it here. And we need to put some water to it, probably. No, it's got water already, because I'm so efficient. And we'll put some power lines across to here. And we'll quickly stick in... We'll put a park across the road from it. Another one. Can I get that in there? I can. And then we'll do some businessy stuff. Some big business. It's just colour it in. Colour it in, man. Stop messing around. Ooh, okay. Well done. That's an office there. I made that one office. I don't know why you're not coloured in. Yeah, everyone can do some shopping while they visit the, uh, the plaza of gruesomeness. Excellent. Excellent. And we can put some uh, some residential up there as well. Do that later. Let's suppose put some along here. There we go. Good stuff. Is that all watered and everything? Not it's oh it's a bit close. I know I'm just faffing. Sorry, there we go. Right. Excellent stuff. Now what was I gonna do next? I can't remember. Oh yes, let's let's Give these poor cemeteries some release. 
There we go. So that one was the one that was full. And we have that one, which is full. Yes. And go away. That one's full. There's probably a few more as well, quite frankly. Any more? Any more for any more? Are there any, um... What are you doing? Building is emptying. Good stuff. Right. That appears to be okay. Right, enough faffing around. What are we going to do with this damn airport? I wouldn't mind building some more industry over here. Possibly just making things worse. Because I've got all these trees. I want to use these trees. I should have put the airport here. It would be a good place for an airport, wouldn't it? I mean, what else can we do with the world map? If we buy this territory here, the only thing that we get access to is this, is, which is not very good. Um, I don't know why I'm worrying. I just get the mob that unlocks them all. Can't I? My, my computer can handle it. It'll be fine. And we can build up here if it comes to it. I know how much more we've got to do on the city anyway. How much more we can build. So this is a bit of a... Uh, no, we're going to take this one. We're going to purchase... What have we got over here anyway in terms of resources? A little bit of ores. Well, we don't care about ores. Boom. Got it. Right. So, assuming that we put an airport here... I've still got to buy this one as well. Let's just buy this as well. I need to. I need to for the road connections. Probably not in this episode. We've got one square left. Okay. So, if we were to put an airport in up here, it needs some good connections. So we're probably going to take a road from down here and maybe come across from here. Maybe if we, if we did something where we loop around like that... That seems like a reasonable plan. Yes, maybe. Okay. Let's keep it as a four lane for now. It's a hill though, isn't it? That's quite good. I know I'm not going the right way, I'm just liking this hill though. I like the idea of curving around the hill. Got here. What sort of landscape we've got? Another hill here, haven't we? Let's put the airport on the high ground then. Sorry about that. This is why I don't have the fan sit in my room most of the time. It's too damn noisy. to do down here, but I just like the idea of curving the road around properly. It might be that by doing this we won't actually be able to put the uh, the airport up here because it takes it's too steep or something, but we'll worry about that later. I can envisage further connections over here as well. Right, you railway, let's pause a second. You need to go. Hold it right there, train. Don't do anything. <laughs> we've got, we've got a, a road coming through. Should I go over the railway? Should I be going over the railway? Or the railway going over me? Oh god, look at that. Um, that was unexpected. Uh, hold on a second. This is interesting. Actually, let's make a little feature over here. So if we do... Oh, let's put, let's put the railway lap bar back in first. Again, it's just, you can't see the contours of the ground very easily, can you? Here. There we go. So if we, if we plan to go over this anyway, it will sort of solve the problem in one fell swoop, won't it? Oh, it's got a very strange wiggle in the road there. Ain't pretty. Stope is slip is too steep. If we take this out, maybe we can uh Oh dear. Very odd. Ok, 
Okay, that's sort of interesting, I guess. Is that part of the hill that the, uh, that the thing's on? Oh, that's ugly. Look at that. Can I do something better than that? Really? Is that really the best we can do? It's not going to work. What's, the, what's going on here? Okay, if we go to about here... Well, this is a fun video, isn't it? I hope you're enjoying yourself. Um, well, you, well, I had you a minute ago, come on. This probably needs to be a big roundabout of here, doesn't it? I'm guessing. You reckon? If it is a roundabout, where's it going to be? About here, I guess. Uh, this is turning to a bigger job than I expected. What's the problem? The power lines. Okay, we can we can do that. Stop scrolling my map around. Try again. Um... Here? Oh, I saw you. Is that a good place, really? A bit of an extra curve on that road over there. Um... Oh! Right. That'll do. That'll do, pig. Let's connect this... Delete you. And connect you up over here. Is that something really weird? Hold on. Let's see if that's now. Uh, it's a little better, I guess. But that make your stomach go. Oh, it's quite a big slope, isn't it? I didn't realise that. Oh, that make your stomach go really funny going over that. We go as you go over that bit. Oh well, that, that's, I think it's better to do it like that anyway. I suppose we could possibly take the angle back here a bit further. But no, I, it's interesting. It's it's a it's a feature. It's a, it's not it's not an error. It's a feature. If you like, discover what you like. It's still damn ugly. That's right though, that fits in okay. The uh, power lines will fix in a minute. That train's still paused. Uh, why don't we go across to here instead and forget that whole thing with the power line business there. Are we now... Oh, train's gone. Okay, it must have just vanished. No, it's going again, there it goes. Right. So, after all that messing around, we've got some unhappy... Oh, uh, people are coming and going. There's industry demand. We can probably manage that. I wish I've got any more room over here in the manufacturing to put any more industry in. There's demands. Demands all the time. Not really. It's all working, why is it? It's all functioning. Right, we'll come back to that. We can put some more industry over here, maybe. Now we've done this. Expand Fangle. Now, where the hell am I going to put this airport? That one. The slope is too steep. I'm not really surprised. I didn't want to put it on the hill, but I suspect that's a rather big hill. It's a big... Oh, I we should put it over here. Hmm. And can we put another seaport in as well, I wonder? I bet we can, can't we? I want to turn this around. So... I think that would be a great place for an airport, actually. If I say so myself. If we do... This... How big is that? It's a bit of a hill there. If I do, uh, let's try this. Okay, let's just put let's just put a road in for now, and see if the airport will fit against the road. No. Okay. 
Let's try another road. Um, <laughs> I should have thought this one out really. I didn't realize it was so hilly over here. That's, that's slightly raised already. I can see that's not going to work, is it? I have to check the line of land somewhere. I don't to fit this in. Maybe to delete some of this. That could be the answer. Come on. Come on, you know you want to. No, you don't want to. Right, okay. Let's find some less hilly landscape. We'll just slap it in the middle of here, couldn't we, really, I guess? Um, let's, leave, let's abandon that piece of road there. What if we just put... Does it want to be on the main... It doesn't want to be on the main road, does it, really? That's not a good idea. To have it on the main road. What is this? This is Science Town, isn't it? Or for science, whatever I've called it. It's a nice flat bit here. Yeah, we really want the airport to be on its own road, bit of road. If we put a road like that... Oh, you're so big! Um... Damn it! Right. I'll get you back in a second. <laughs> 